Y'all, I am scratched out. I had not drawn my ad. The GPS took me on a damn dead end. And bitch, it took me three hours to get out that dead end. Man, I'm just rolling, rolling and, and listening to my podcast and and music and everything and learning so much today. <laughs> Welcome back to the Lockout Man Podcast Show. What's going on, everybody? If you guys appreciate what I do over here, don't forget to hit that like button, the subscribe button, and all those other buttons to show support for the channel. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Let's just jump right into it. Look, GPSs, all right? I mean, I, I, I did a video on a young lady asking what was the best GPS out here, and I pretty much lean towards uh Garmin considering the fact that I have a Garmin but I I, I still tend to ride with Ram McNally as well but believe it or not my 730 finally finally comped out man it was it was a sad day today I had to finally put my 730 down and 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 put it out to pastor <laughs> Anyway, I still got my Garmin diesel seven inch, uh, still rocking out, still doing what it's supposed to do. But again, like I said, I, I'll lean more towards the Ram McNally. Uh, but the newer models, I am not a fan of. I'm really not a fan of the newer models, though. But the Garmin, Garmin to do it. But in this situation right here, let's let's check out what happened to this young. Let's find out what's going on with them. Y'all, I am scratched out. I had not drawn my ad. The GPS took me on a damn dead end. And, bitch, it took me three hours to get out that dead end. Because it's dark outside. I can't fucking see. I can't. You can't turn the trail around a dead end. So, I'm just fucking stuck. It took me three hours. I'm parked at a Warner Drop Yard. I'm not even with Warner, y'all. I just had to park up because, bitch, I couldn't drive no more. I was done for. I was done for. And I'm, I'm on my last black smoke. I'm just done for, baby. I'm stressed out. If I don't quit tomorrow, I don't know what I'm going to do. <sighs> All right. So, you got yourself in a little bit of pickle there, young, young person. You got yourself in a pickle there. Yes, sir. Yes, you did. Now, I'm not sure. You said your GPS. So, I'm not sure which GPS that would get you in that particular pickle. I mean, usually like the Garmin GPS that I have, especially if you keep it updated, it won't get you in situations like that. You know, usually the the truck specific GPS would keep you out of out a little bit of skirmishes. Now, I'm going to lean more towards that you probably use Google navigation. You probably use Google Maps that pretty much got you into that little into that little pickle. Now, unfortunately, you 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 got in and you pretty much got stuck. Here's the thing with that. Uh, the way you get in is the way you get out. So what you probably might have to do is straight back out of the out out of that little cul-de-sac. Or the little dead end so you can back up onto the main street and get to going to where you're going. Now, listen, I love your speed, though. You over here talking about your scratch. Scratch. I don't even know how you say that. Like, scratch? Like, how people say shrimp. They be like, scrimp. I, I don't even know how you pronounce it right, but I, I like I, I like your pronunciations, though. But anyway, it's not even about that. It's about you getting a truck specific gps the i.e a garmin or a ram mcnally and only use them as a tool you know you also you 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 also got to pay attention to the signs now i'm sure before you kind of turn down that dead end street there was a big sign at the beginning of the street that says dead end or no exit or or another sign that says no trucks i'm just saying i understand it was dark i <laughs> i understand that it was dark but 
signs are reflective when the light flashes on them. I'm just saying. So next time, just 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 kind of pay attention. Pay attention to the signs. And if a GPS does tell you to turn down that street and the sign says no, you do what the sign says. You don't do what the GPS says. Because sometimes you can go down a residential street, you can get stuck, and then you had to call the police, which I believe you did. You know, they had to come and help you out. And you might end up with a ticket at the end of the day. Now, I don't know what company you work for or something like that, but some companies frown upon that. So you got to be careful. Don't use Google Maps for local driving. Just use the satellite, see where you could probably get in at, get out at, or whatever the case, and just use it for that. But truck-specific GPS with proper updates will probably keep you out of situations like that. What do you guys think in the comments below? I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Me, classic kids who went pop. Def to the hater won't stop. Let's talk key scales, it won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart, bars, you got bops. Urge writing Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom to me, but go off. Or make a masterpiece for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rump, bump, bump. Y'all fit to me like this symphony. Your career's done, done, done.